All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to install a Remington 1100 stock onto a Fight Light SCR. Uh, in order to do this, you're gonna need a couple tools. So you're gonna need a 19 millimeter socket wrench, some sandpaper, I'm just using the 150 grit, some tape, um, a half inch steel tube, which I just bought at Home Depot, and a file. First thing, you're going to notice that there is a nut that holds the buttstock onto the lower. Uh, that's the 19 millimeter nut. So get your wrench and remove the nut. Also remember that there's a spring and detent that uh, holds this takedown pin in. So when you take the stock off, uh, make sure that that spring doesn't fly away. Here is the nut. There's the buffer tube spring. And then obviously make sure the uh, detent spring doesn't come out. So slowly take off the stock. Uh, here is the spring that I was talking about. So just put that aside. Uh, the detent's still in there, so I'm not, but I'm not too worried about it. When you take off the stock, the spring and buffer will come out. Just set that aside as well. Uh, this is, you know, what they call the buffer tube. And here's the lower. Oh. And there's the, the pin. All right. So let's uh, test fit the Remington stock onto the lower. Let's go ahead and slide that through. First thing you notice, it's not going to want to fully pull through. Um, if you could see that there, there's probably like a lip that needs to be sanded down and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Next, take the buffer tube out. And test fit how this lip is going to sit into the lower. And as you can see, it doesn't fully sit in there. So you're gonna have to sand down that lip a little bit. Okay, before I show you how to sand down the, uh, the stock, I wanna show you the similarities in the two. If you just line them up, you can see that they're pretty much exactly the same length and same profile, which is why these Remingtons fit perfectly onto the fight lights. So in order to sand down this lip right here, I just take a file and I just slightly file along the whole edge uh, to sand down that the inside of that hole. I take that steel tube, wrap it with sandpaper and basically stick it in that hole and sand it down that way. Now I don't want to sand down too much of the hole. I really, I really just want to sand down like an inch of it. So what I'm going to do is Put this right up to that ledge. Mark off where it stops. So around right here. Tape it. So that way, when it does go into the hole, I know where to stop sanding. Okay. So let's tape this off. Stick it in the drill. Then I'm just gonna stick this in that hole.
I'm just lightly putting force on the edges of the, uh, the side walls there. Okay. Go slow and just keep testing it until it fully goes through. And see, now it goes all the way through. Okay. All right, next, I'm gonna go ahead and sand this lip down. I'm just gonna take this file and go all the way around until it, uh, until it fits in. One thing I did forget to mention is this hole also needs to be taken down as well. Um, just widened out a little bit, just so it could fit around here. If you just use a step drill, it's literally just like one more step and then it fits in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Looks like we gotta go down one more step. All right, it's starting to go in there. Uh, I just gotta sand the edges down a little bit more and it should be done. Okay, so as you can see, I took the step drill to it. What I ended up doing was stick it in the drill and wo uh, wobbling it around a little bit to widen the hole just a little bit more so it would fit in. Um, I did sand down the edges, and as you can see, it fits in there pretty, pretty snug now. There's like a little movement, but that's not a big deal. So go ahead and test fit the whole thing. So install the buffer tube, put on the stock. As you can see, there is a little bit more sanding of the sidewalls to go. So I'll go ahead and do that. Um, and then if you want, you can test fit the nut in there and see if, if um, there's any play with it moving back and forth but let me sand the sides down first. So a little bit more in there now. So just a little bit more sanding, but not a big deal for this, for the purpose of this video. So if you want to test fit the whole thing, go ahead and drop the nut in there and test for any play of it moving back and forth. All right, so. The nuts installed and there's definitely no pull out or anything like that so that's pretty much how you install a Remington 1100 stock onto a fight light SCR um, all the uh, SC all the Remington stocks are a little bit different just because they're um, all the woods a little bit different and how it's drilled is a little bit different but uh, it's essentially the same thing so you might have to do some more sanding on the inside or some more standing around the edge, but essentially this is how you do it. Uh, so anyways, thanks for watching.